Hey, what is up, YouTube? Thank you very much for tuning into my channel, Lando Tech. And boy, have I got some interesting news for you. Have you ever needed to send custom emails out to a large number of people, but didn't want to spend all that time typing each one out manually? Well, Mail Merge is the automated solution you're looking for. And yes, the automation from Mail Merge may not be as glamorous as artificial intelligence. Some may even say it's like asking for ChatGPT, but having your mom say, we have ChatGPT at home, only to be presented with Mail Merge. So no, it's not glamorous, but it does get the job done. A typical scenario where Mail Merge would be useful would be if you want to send invoices out to a bunch of people at once, but each person purchased a different item, owes a different total, and of course, has a different name. Normally, this would mean composing a bunch of separate emails and customizing each one individually before sending it out. And we all know that the most efficient way to get that done is by forcing an intern to do it. And the next most efficient way is by using Mail Merge, which prevents us from having to manually customize each email individually. And before I get into the tutorial, I want you to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I also want to speak with my Office 365 users. If you don't want to pay a subscription fee every month for the rest of your life just to use Office, I have a link in my description that allows you to buy Office once and own it for the rest of your life. All right, back to the mail merge tutorial. To start, we have to ensure that we have a spreadsheet filled with the various items, prices, names, and email addresses of the individuals that we will be sending the communication out to. Then in Word, we have to type up a general template. Once you're satisfied with the template, click the Mailings tab, start Mail Merge, then Email Message. Now, click Select Recipients. Use an existing list. Search for the spreadsheet with the info and double click to open it. Because the first row of our spreadsheet contains column headers, take a while to guess which of these options we have to ensure is checked. Hit OK. Now, if you click Edit Recipient List, it actually gives you the ability to, believe it or not, edit the list of recipients. Wild. If you hit greeting line, it gives you a preview of what your automated greeting will look like. To make sure our name field was picked up successfully, let's click the match fields button and ensure first name is matching with first name and last name is matching with last name. Click OK. OK again. And the greeting line field is inserted. Now click Insert Merge Field and insert all necessary fields in the appropriate places. When you're done with that, click Preview Results. This gives you an idea of how the email will look once it's sent. Click the next arrow and you'll notice the name, product, price, and date all change, but the basic template stays the same. Now click Finish and Merge. Send email messages, create a subject line, and click OK. Emails will now get sent to each person on your mailing list. If we go to Outlook and click Send Items, we can see that all emails have been successfully sent. There you have it, you now know how to successfully use Mail Merge to send custom emails in bulk. Thank you very much for watching my video guys. If you found this helpful, please click the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe by clicking my logo at the bottom right of this video. Don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified when I drop a new video.